What's going on guys, it's Kude here and we are back with Elderwind Tower Fatal Boss 40. Now, alright so we're fighting Elder God Kenshi and Thunder God Raiden. Both characters that I sought out for when I first started this game. Uh, and I never got Thunder God Raiden, I don't think I ever got him. Uh, not with the first, you know, two years of me playing this game. I tried so hard to get him, but his challenge, uh, to my knowledge, I don't think it came back. Elder God Kenshi, though, uh, I don't remember that one being around. Anyways, Aftershock, Tremor, Combat Cup, Johnny Cage, and Classic Ermac. This is the team that I have formed. People are anxious to see me try uh, Aftershock, Tremor, and I think to try to support our team here, we're gonna need to change our presets. Currently, they are on offensive brutal with brutal ending. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. That's I forgot. We're not even using a brutality team. Give me a second, guys. Okay, we slightly changed our talents. This time, we gave 30% chance for combo under steel, 10% damage to all targets. And that'll be nice for us because we're gonna try to keep doing combo enders. And then we also upgraded this a little bit. Mm, just hawk stance. That's it. But this one. We have stuff that helps the SP1 and SP1. So we can reflect SP1, but we can also uh, have SP1 cost no bar power, which is exactly what we're supposed to be doing with Tremor because you can SP1 spam with them because now it applies stun. It wasn't officially um, marked as stun. We think it could be that it could be a bug that they didn't they didn't want to create intentionally for whatever reason but that does not matter at all as for the dot immunity i'm pretty sure classic or mac will still work and that's why i'm putting him on a team because classic or mac will just get these um health down i would like to mention that we did give him one piece of tower gear i understand not everyone's gonna have a tower piece especially not maxed out but i feel like at least one is probably gonna be good with our like main fighter these guys are starting to have a lot of health, and I think it's probably wise to just get some extra, you know, preparation. I think a lot of people have commons and rares for the Elder Wind Tower, because not only do they give us a free pack, but they also let us play the normal for a very long time. So I think enough people have it for it to make sense. Alright, here we go. Let's give Aftershock Tremor a try. You know, I haven't actually... I haven't tried him out yet, in all honesty. The Soul Siphon is going. Maybe we should have put different equipment on him because uh, I'm, I'm seeing that we're not getting um, bars of power very quickly. And that is a major concern. Nice. Those critical hits are nice. This is fine. He doesn't really even have anything. Uh, we're going to use this now just because I know he's probably on the verge of tagging out. So once he's stunned, we're going to come in here, power drain him. Perfect. Johnny Cage is going to be nice. Just a little side character to do some power drain in the meantime. Ooh, well, that's unfortunate. We'll do that. Come back in with Tremor and get Raiden. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Got to make sure that we uh, get him while he's not blocking. Perfect. Look at that. All right. All right. We're gonna have to block. Well, almost not able to. Oh my gosh. Feels like our we're actually doing better than our first game, which we had a maxed Sindel on, and that's why strategy does matter in this game. While it's not pure skill that matters, it's mostly just the strategy and what kind of team you form. Are you kidding me? Okay. We're going to tag him with Johnny Cage. We're not about to take that risk of um, Raiden doing SP1. All right, yeah, we're just going to have to kill him off. I don't see any other option here. All right, he's got a shield as well. That's perfectly fine. We'll just power drain him early on so he doesn't have anything ready to go. When I tag in Tremor, we're going to stun him and then do one more stun. And that should be all we need to do. Well, not entirely. There we go. I will crush you. you could replace Classic Ermac with something that does more damage. 
not over time, but just something that can do a ton of damage all at once. And I think that'll work fine. But this team is nice, and I appreciate your guys' feedback. I don't think anyone commented about Johnny Cage, but I just thought a good fighter in here would be nice. And Classic Ermac, I don't think anyone mentioned him either. But I know everyone was mentioning um, Aftershock Tremor. They wanted to see me give him a try. And I was more than happy to do that because I actually wanted to give uh, Tremor a try because I have never actually... Uh, done the stunning loop with him, which this isn't really set up to be a stun loop. We need to give him more power generation, but in the result of giving him more power generation, we would not have this. And honestly, if we didn't have this damage boost, that fight probably wouldn't have went in our favor. Not most likely. We did get to uh, steal some other max power on basic attacks. Just trying to... F oh, here we go. Storm Hat would have worked. 20% power generation boost. Yeah, that would have worked fine. I probably should have just had that in there instead. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And yeah, peace out.